and I'm letting some other people in. So welcome everyone. Uh, if this is a recording, then welcome. Uh, if you are live, then uh, then hello. <laughs> you are here already. Um, so we're setting up this meeting. It just um, magically appeared today, which usually happens when Alataya, Roman, Sylvia, Alexandra, Vada, me, you know, and some other people from the New Earth Now group, we start connecting, things just really happen. So that's really cool. If you want to be part of the New Earth Now group, then be, uh, be welcome. It's on Telegram. So just, you know, get the app, Telegram, and then type in New Earth Now as one word, and you'll find us there. Um, and we are very happy to do this today. It's also a pant code. I don't know if everybody's aware of that. It's a 555 day. I mean, Sylvia can speak a lot more about that 555 day portal. It's just, you know, it's an amazing day where the Pentecost is like where, you know, after the resurrection of Jesus, all the apostles, you know, with, with Mary, basically, the Magdalene, they were receiving the spirit, you know, they were receiving the, this, this light coming in. So I think it's in a beautiful day to do this type of work. And, um, if anybody feels like it, I guess we do a little bit of sharing that would be interesting, but I have the feeling we'll just start with Alataya, but then again, if Alataya starts, I know her, <laughs> like half an hour in and she's still, she's still chilling, so, so I actually want to keep Alataya for just a little later, <laughs> because when she goes in, she goes in, we go in. So, so if anybody else feels like it, you know, maybe Vada, maybe Roman, maybe Andrea, maybe Laurent, maybe Sylvia, maybe Alessandra, maybe Paloma, you know, all these beautiful people that are here. Uh, Monica, you had something to share, I think, also. If, if you want to do it quite fast, that would be amazing. I think all I want to share, because I have been reflecting on it last hour, is that I know there is a split. I'm, I'm one of the first ones that was, a, you know, in that sense, aware of that split in that sense, because it started in 2012. And I don't mean like I'm the first one. I'm just saying it's not new to me, but um, I'm here to definitely create the, the new or now experience on that split. But I'm not here to divide myself from those that are on the other side of the split. And this is what I see a lot of people do in the last two years they go so much into side of the split that they of course there's a division but they treat the others bad let's say it like that they judge them they you know like go into that so it's very hard to be and at the same time uh creating that new part of the split but at the same time not to judge or get scared even from what what is whatever is happening on the other side of the split so i'm more here to connect to keep on connecting to all people from all religions, from all, all sides of the split, from wherever we're going, but to, to keep my heart open for, for whatever while I am creating the new earth now, definitely. So I'm not focusing too much on it, but I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, yeah, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I guess most people here do get what I'm saying, so I'm lucky. So, um, so yeah, anybody else that wants to share what, what you want to bring in? It's like a bit like a talking stick uh, moment where I'm passing on the talking stick to someone else. Just make like this and I'll, I'll help you on me. Uh, not everyone at the same time, huh? <laughs> Come on, Roman. Something to say? Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, completely. Yeah, great. Um, that's good. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be in this group, uh, first of all, and also amazing how this just unfolded now in the last three hours or four hours. Um, kicked off by Aletea two days ago or something, or yesterday with, with your input from the meditation. Um, I think it just shows beautifully that the energy is absolutely ripe to, to work like that. And um, this is just a, 
the power in the in the in the union we have together and it's really time to to do these things and this is why we are sitting all here in this in this in this wonderful meeting room i think so let's let's do it and and let's make this 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 uh, apparently nasty stuff uh, a boomerang <laughs> as much as we can <laughs> Yay, thank you, Roman. Anybody else wishes to, it's really nice to just hear the vibration of your voice. Like it doesn't need to be long, but just to, you know, then it you can feel that the group energy is. is... Laurent is uh, lifting his hand up. Oh, okay, cool. Go for it. Hello, can you understand me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's, uh, I'm not used to work with, uh, with this. Um media thing. Um, hi, my name is Laurent. I'm working from the Netherlands. Um, yeah, I share your experience uh, a lot um, in this in this process of shifts, let's say, but I'm uh, very, very happy to be part of this uh, group too and to read all these stories and experiences from people uh, during this uh, this process. So um, yeah, and, for, and, and yeah, like um, this af afternoon, I just saw this quick, quick, quick uh, upcoming um, um, ability to join this moment at five o'clock. And yeah, somehow um, it worked also for me to join you. So thank you for this. Um, and um, yeah, I'm happy to meet the rest of you. Yay, okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else before we go in? Because I'm, uh, I want to go in. I, <laughs> to, let's just do this, you know. But anybody else? Sylvia is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would like to add something very quickly. Yes. Go for there it. Is, um, uh, of course, I'm helping myself with tools, with uh, crystals, with uh, many things. But I have always thought in my path that the ultimate, the ultimate solution is to develop, to develop abilities in uh, a master, a mastery, uh, and, um, to to manage energetic, uh, energetically a situation. So we are here for this. This is the work that we are. <laughs> This is the, the work of the future, <laughs> I would say. This is the, the ultimate solution. And I'm very um, excited to be here. Uh, that is, this is the solution, I would say. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I can feel the countries, yeah, I can feel Italy, and I can feel Ibiza, and I can feel Egypt, and, you know, Holland, and all these different countries, Switzerland, Monica, well, you know. I am not the best example. I'm okay. Mexican in a, in a Swiss country. I, I, <laughs> I was wondering, what, was, what am I going to do here? <laughs> what, am, what am I doing here in Europe? <laughs> Um, so yeah, so all these different kinds, and then remember this is a recording, so many people are going to actually join us through the recording, so many different countries, USA, like all, all the different countries, so yeah, let's do this. Are you ready, Alataya? I'm ready. <laughs> well, first I want to explain what was shown to me in the previous uh, meditations for the past days. Uh, since it came out in, uh, in this group and in many other groups and the concern that's becoming very, very palpable, nearly physical, of the worry of being affected by, by um, the ones that are shedding and in which way it affects. So I, I, I was waiting for the guidance to come in and to, to give me some sort of, of um, or explanation or tools to help ourselves, to strengthen our core, to strengthen ourselves and then to help others that are being affected by it. So they were showing me, so I did some little drawings. You'll see that my drawings are not very nice, but to make you understand. So if what has been jabbed into the people would be harmonious, it would look like this. This is how it would be co-working and um, fusing into the geometry of the construct of the DNA of a human being. 
But when this gets into the body, this is what happens. And all those spikes that are happening through it is the distortion that happens with the fusion of the human DNA that makes it impossible to work together. Or for the very few that are able to have this fusing in their DNA and that nothing happens to them, there are very, very few, the rest is going to be a kind of fight and flight. It's gonna be a, a very big war within of trying to, to take it in and to assimilate it. But it's not the same construct as the DNA of the human being. The geometry is distorted. And it's an AI geometry that comes with a, a quick shift into the, the DNA, forcing that shift, which is uh, very difficult for the body to hold. And that's why they normally collapse. The, the body just can't hold it. Most of them will collapse. And uh, then they were showing me that the way that we can um, so on, undo, undo these spikes, undo what is happening when it is in the body um, and to redo and harmonize it in creating that is to literally go uh, first into the, uh, they weren't showing me, they were showing me all the different jabs and all in one line creating the same effect. So they're not different in what they do they're all doing and creating the same thing. So they were showing them to me aligned and going into the intention of entering all these different names of, of jabs uh, to be able to restore the, the harmonious geometry in it to avoid it, to distort your natural DNA and your natural uh, um, uh, geometry in your construct. There's another way which would be sound but the sound, they're not showing it to me yet. And it's something that it already exists. But for the human being to create it with the tools and with the, uh, with the utilities that we have, it's, it's, uh, it has to be really done with knowledge and with a lot of, of specification. Because when the sound enters the body, what it does is that it literally freezes. It freezes that. It freezes it. Once it's frozen, it, it can't go any further. It just stays like that. And then the body starts reconstructing itself and taking over again its natural flow and construct. And the, the, the item just uh, dims down and becomes gradually uh, deleted and erased. But the sound, um, I don't know when it's going to come out, but someone is going to come out with it. And it's going to be very quick because once this is out, you just put it out like you can filtrate it in even in between songs, like it's a vibration. So it's a it's a resonance. And when you filtrate it into a song or into music, it'll do the work. So people don't have to sit there with that in their earplugs and really concentrating. It's just being in the space and the flow of that energy. And it will literally freeze that thing. And when, when that happens, then the rest can happen to, to restore and to, and to um, uh, rebuild itself. So uh, I first wanted to explain that to you so you know what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be uh, guided uh, uh, through the exercise of doing so. So whenever you feel, you can do that projection from within you. And it's, it's not that you need to sit and work and do, okay, now I've got to sit and do that for two hours a day. It's going to be, wow, well, it's like a big dedication it's not so much that it's more once you have the concept in you once you understand the the how how it's done with just you projecting that from you outwards you you are creating that field and by creating that field when you are strong in your axis and when you're strong into your core that field is just a resonance that you hold and it's going to it's going to to affect others, it's going to, uh, it, it cannot not affect. So apart from having that core really strengthened that we also have to do now on a daily basis, um, by doing this, you are also going to participate in, in uh, readjusting that, that shape, readjusting the, the distortion. So it, it, it recuperates, it goes back to its more harmonious, and the harm harmony of this one is that 
It's recognized by the body, by all the different geometries that are part of creation. Creation has many different geometries and they're all very harmonious. And the one that is uh, filtrated um, is not harmonious. So it creates, it can only create distortion and, and it can be very uncomfortable. So um, if, if you're ready, we're going to get into, uh, into a channeling. So I'm going to allow my guys to come in. Okay, okay, just one second. Yeah. I just want everyone to, to really know what we're doing and understand what we're doing. So as far as I understood it, what yeah. we're doing is we're going to go through meditation that is led by the guides that yeah. other players is channeling into a meditation. And in that meditation, we're going to project from our inside out like a field that's going to actually reverberate like all over the planet and beyond, I guess, that, that is going to create like a field of a, or a vibration or understanding or a concept or a multi-leveled layered um, vibration that is going to make sure that people that get the jab, but also the people that are in, like, for example, the, the twin fairies, they are living with, with mothers that actually took the jab. So you're living with someone that took the jab, that you're not actually starting to uh, take some of that uh, stuff inside of your own body and react to it, mm -hmm. right? So it's and for the people with the jab and for the people that are living with people that took the jab. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's not only to, uh, to send that to the people that have uh, the jabs, but the ones that are living in the vicinity or the ones that, because this is, this is a distorted vibration. It's distorted. Yeah. Yeah. So as it's distorted, it also creates a distorted field. And the distorted field also affects the others by that field in becoming uh, in dissonance, in becoming, uh, you, you don't you don't vibrate normally. There's a there's a dissonance that makes you more vulnerable to more anger, to more uh, dis ease in whichever way, to uh, more tiredness, uh, to more reactivity towards others. So it affects in many different ways. Um, that that this uh, dissonance eventually. Um, it, it affects it affects the fields and it affects not only your human metabolism but it affects also your your different bodies so the mental emotional and physical and then the nine different uh, energetic plasmic auric uh, quantum uh, fields that are part of what we hold this field that we hold is the one that perceives this dissonance quicker and starts fighting against it. And the last barrier is the physical that will then develop that as a, or as a disease or as a collapse or as a, um, uh, some sort of a, of a, uh, of a reaction. So the, um, the, the meditation is, would, would only be for, for us to understand that when we hold this field of um, correcting the dissonance, this 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 uh, this uh, this harmony. Uh, by doing so, we are strengthening our immune system. We're strengthening our our spirit, like a high spirit, like a, in in a in a in a positive way. Uh, to 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 be more uplifted and to be more more strengthened. And through that, we can. It, it's then a feel that uh, gradually um, we we expand it more and more. So this is not only affecting the individual around that or around that. This is affecting the galaxy. This is affecting much further away than just, you know, three streets down the one that received it. It's, it's a field that is affecting the collective that is affecting the whole. So it goes on to another, to another, to another until it gets to affect the whole. So it's, it's, um, yeah, it's 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 much more than than just you know the personal. Oh, well, I don't want you to touch me. Or it's it's beyond that. It's bigger. Uh, the the affection is bigger than just from one individual to another. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's basically a meditation we're doing for the human collective to actually bring back harmony. Yeah. Uh, um, when, when uh, a few hours ago, when I was in meditation, um, 
uh, I was taken into, into a space where there were many different beings coming in to join in, which are part of, of uh, the, um, the, creative, uh, the creative tools of knowing how the, the genetic are created through the, the, uh, the geometric uh, um, fields. And, and this is something that when one enters these, these uh, uh, creative tools, you understand that through the, the physical, you go to all the different bodies and then you start seeing the geometries that are part of everything, absolutely everything. So the beings that are coming forth, they're coming to help us to reinforce the, the, the harmony and, and the strength, the core of the, of the creation that we hold in, in the geometry. It's not the mindset, that's, 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 that's very, um, it's very small. It's, it's because through our, our geometry and through all the, the construct that we hold, we're connected to everything to a tree, to a plant, to an, to an animal, to another person through that, that geometrical link that we have with each other. Uh, this, is not, this is not part of it. So it's, it's completely creating a, a fight and flight when we hold that. And, and that's why it, it cannot, it, it's, it's not gonna be held anyways, this is gonna come down. So we're, we're everybody on our side, we're, we're assisting in, in uh, bringing it down. It's gonna come down because it cannot be part of the equation. It's, it can uh, try to, that's what is happening, but it's, it's, it can't, it's not, it's not, it's not like uh, allowed or permitted when, it, when you know, uh, that, that some, some, some people are having fun and say, let's just do that and, and see what happens, let's just create robots or there is um there is uh, uh there are some that are going to be able to hold it and that's the that kind of uh, filtering that is happening that uh the ones that can't can't hold it uh, seen by them the ones that can't hold it you know they're not needed they can be uh they can be eliminated it's, it's not a loss for them and the ones that can hold it is the ones that are for them important to stay because they're going to be able to be um, used in, in, their, in their own purpose. I don't want to go too deep in that because it's, um, it's, it's another story. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so cool. let's do it. Let's yeah, go let's, let's yeah. go in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I invite you to close your eyes. So uh, we're taking right away um, to a space that was created a couple of hours ago. It's uh, imagine that this is a, um, a temple of uh, white creative energy where different races come forth, different races as the Lemurians, as um, uh, Lord Melchizedek, Lord Metatron, um, there are different light beings. There is uh, also the, the violet ray uh, um, master at um, Saint Germain, or we can, we can call it different names. He's had different names. Uh, there's a whole crew. There's a whole group of beings that are, are gathered to assist us, to assist others. So I'm just going to pass it on to them, and they'll talk directly through me. Greetings, dear ones. This is a gathering and a celebration. These times are important not only for you as individuals and for you as the experience that you are having through this uh, global experience. Each one through their own uh, free choice is going to decide uh, from an understanding or non-understanding what is going on and choosing from there not knowing what this is going to create. There's a lot of unawareness. So with this lack of uh, understanding and awareness, people are running to take this in their systems. 
And as it has been explained and shown with uh, the drawings, it is not something that is harmonious to your own nature or to the nature of creation itself in this realm. And we say in this realm because there are realms that are totally AI. And from there, it is not so distorted. It is part of the field from where creation is done. For you, it is not the same. You do not vibrate with that. So we're going to take you into visualizing from within you the way that you can always be projecting this active energy from your core, from your center, out. That means first strengthen your center. First, visualizing that your core essence, your heart center, your heart uh, chakra, uh, holds your highest vibration. So visualize yourself in that center, surrounded by golden and very high white energy. You are now able to hold this white energy. It is a higher quality of light energy that you are now able to hold in yourselves, not only when you put the intention, but as light pillars of that energy. So when you visualize in your heart space, this golden and white energy, hold it there, breathe in it. See it how it becomes, every day you see it with the intention, it becomes stronger. Every time it becomes more present. And from there, once you have it strengthened in your space, see that from there you can amplify like a bubble or a sphere of energy through which you would be held. That means you are already held in a sphere of that energy that not only protects you, but also creates a resonance and reverberation from you out. That means lower energy cannot really be part of the equation in that resonance. So you hold all your fields in it. Your three connected to physical experience, mental, physical, and emotional bodies, and then all your quantum fields, your auric fields, your plasmic body, your uh, different energetic bodies that are part of what also holds your energy. Spread this sphere out to the limits of all your different layers. Once this is done, you're in the space and in the vibration that holds this high quality that nothing can come through. Nothing can come through as a distorted energy or low energy. From there, visualize all the different, as it was described before, we will not name them so we do not get the video or the recording to be targeted, but all the different names of these uh, injectables aligned one behind the other, all of them, whether they are activated or not, whether they are in the human being or not, itself, just what it is. And through there, you go through it. So from standing from in front of it, you go through it, but sending through it, that light that comes out of your heart space. So you send through it with that intention, that light that comes from you. Before you do that, you create the shape that was sh shown to you in harmony. You create that shape in that golden and white energy. So you create it before, you put it in front of it, and then you push it through it. But you push it through it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. At the beginning, it might go slowly, 
They might even stop in one or two, and then it goes further until at least there are nine different ones. So go through them all. And then when you get out on the other side, hold it there. That means it's held from the beginning to the end in those different names and, 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 and presentations of them. Once this is done, you send it out from your heart space still. So you send it out with that intention. Send it out anywhere in the ether, in the environment, to people that you know that need it, to uh, certain situations, to uh, different uh, people in situations of taking decisions, uh, wherever you feel, but also you can just send it into the collective. It's like a and you send it out. It's done in a second. You can spread it all around the planet to every single one. Not every single one is going to take it because some believe and want to hold on to the idea that this is correct. And we have to insist in the respecting of the mm, the the uh, um, the decision of each one, the the free will that you have. It cannot be imposed. But sending it to everyone without imposing them, without trying to enforce it, it will be taken in or not. Because it is not up to you. Up to you is to offer it. Up to them is to take it or not. In this way, there are gradually, as you hold that field around the planet, they are gradually receiving certain degrees of this energy as they allow, as they are open, as they are maybe unaware and scared and they don't know what they did, it will allow more to come in. So it's the less the resistance, the more the possibility to receive degrees of that energy that you are holding. The more that do that, like on a regular basis, one wakes up, does it, then the other one goes to bed, then the other one takes up because it wakes up at a different time, time, time and, and does this at the, at, at, as, a, as a continuity of a ongoing flow around the planet, it literally dims down gradually. It's not done immediately. It dims down gradually because it is sent through the golden white light. The one that is bringing the message, the vessel that is facilitating this message, when she tried yesterday to do that, or before yesterday to do that, to send that out to certain people, like, uh, like very determined and directed, it wouldn't stick. It didn't stick. That's when we brought to her attention, use the golden light. Because through the golden light, there is the imprint of the natural flow of creation. And it brings back that capacity of sticking this uh, new uh, rectified or, or modified uh, version with the, the energy of, of source of, of that golden light, golden and white light. And with that light, it makes it possible to stick to the dysfunctional uh, version. Otherwise, if you don't use that light, it doesn't stick. That's why the need to use that quality of light for it to be stuck on it. In any other way, if you just send it out, it just gets dissolved immediately because it's, um, it, it just won't stick. It doesn't stick. For the moment, this is going to be an ongoing, uh, an ongoing um, exercise that has to be repeated until the field is strong enough around the earth that holds this, uh, uh, this um, uh, rectifying this distortion to be able to be, once it's uh, given to someone, it can be uh, absorbing this right away before it gets stuck into the body. And it's, uh, it's undone much quicker. It is uh, rectified in the way that it is holding this energy much quicker. So now we've explained that to you, and we would like to do that as an example to send it out like, like literally like do step by step 
and, and do it uh, in, a, in an exercise now, uh, after explaining how this works, to do it again, like it's reinforcing the first layer. And in this way, you'll see that the more you do it, then it becomes, I'm doing it, it's done. As quickly as that. Doesn't need to be, okay, wait a minute, step one, step two, or no, step three, step one. It's, it becomes instantaneously because you have it in you and you just, oh, I wanted to reactivate that. <sighs> done. And it becomes just, again, uh, reactivated on the layers of Mother Earth because everything is in that field, everything. So that means the pets are being affected by it, the food is being affected by it, the air, the waters, everything is receiving this vibration. And that is why it needs to be spread out as on all the surface of the planet, because it's a resonance, it's a vibration that is totally distorted that they are kind of breathing out of their own uh, skin. So we're going to repeat the exercise. So take a deep breath. Visualize how you are in your heart space. There is a lot of golden and white light. We are holding the space for you. You take the modified shape, kind of bathe it in that quality of light, golden white, or send this energy to it, whichever way is more comfortable with, for you. Find even a way that is comfortable for you to do it. Doesn't need to be step by step following this way. Maybe find another one that is uh, more in flow for you. So once you have the shape, it's golden, it's vibrating, it's very strong in the energy that it holds, it's like solid. Once you have this shape and this energy, and you see all of the items aligned in front of you, you then send it through it all, one by one. All of them. Through it, through them all. Once this is created, it creates literally like a tunnel because they're all in it. And from there, send it out in a like a like if it would be like a atomic mushroom, like when it expands itself and covers completely the surface of Mother Earth. At the same time, what you can also do for the ones that feel in alignment to that is to see from your core, another core that goes down, doing the same work, going down into the core of Mother Earth. So from your core, down to your lower and through your lower chakras, down through your earth chakra, earth portal, into your rooting system, and right into the core, the crystal core of Mother Earth. And from there, it also holds that quality of dissolving this energy. And in this way, it also brings this quality to reverberate from the core of Mother Earth out and from out in. So the more you repeat that, the better. If you want to find your own way, do so. You're being supported by a whole group that is part of creation, that is part of um, the, um, the constructs or the constructors of life. That is all, it has all got to do with harmony, resonance, geometry, movement, sound, coloring. All this is part of what you hold from the most minute part of you, the subatomic particle or cell in the fractalized wave within you that is even more minute, within minute, within minute, 
from there out to it all. So there is a lot that can be distorted with having this distortion or in you or in your environment or in your food or in the air or in wherever. But we do invite you to avoid feeling in fear because the fear energy brings down your immune system, brings down your vibration. The more you reactivate the space within your heart space in holding that golden energy and creating that sphere that surrounds all your body, the more you do that, the stronger you are. There is no adversity that can hit you. There is no danger or risk that can uh, access you. And know that for sure and certainty. We are here assisting you every time you have this as an intention, you create this as a movement, you send this as a flow, every single time it calls upon us to support you. And we're going to continue doing that until this comes down. It's not an if it comes down. This is coming down. And when the resonance, when the ones that know how to use the sound through the resonance and include it in many different parts of what you hear, you listen, you, you follow, it's going to even accelerate it more. This is part of the experience that you are going through. You are growing out of fear and you are regaining your sovereignty and your power. Each one of you. We thank you for the time and we thank you for volunteering because this is volunteering work. It is not imposed. It cannot happen when it is imposed. Each one does it because it feels, it resonates, it is in alignment. If not, just put it aside. All is good. We thank you. And we greet you. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much, Elisaya, for that channeling and that guidance of the meditation. That was amazing. I just wanted to share a little bit my experience and then hear a few other people sharing their experience because I think it can inspire us to do this more often because I think that's also the message, like keep on doing this. So um, when Alataya said like, yeah, you can also do your own thing with it. Of course, you know me, like uh, the, the whole thing just, you know, took it to another level, let's say. And it was really like in the heart, connected to source in the heart, in the secrets or tiny spaces of the heart, if you know what I mean. And then I was in there and then the golden white light changed into diamond golden white light. I was like, wow, this is amazing. And so when, when that started to work, it just, exactly that you said like that kind of um wait i'm just gonna mute just for a moment so then it just really was like uh like an explosion from the heart like the inside of the heart just made poof, and then it was it was everywhere like not only on top of around the planet but also inside of the planet uh inside of the the structure of anything that has ever been created in this reality it just made poof, and it, it was just like field of oneness everything was filled with it and then the the the, the sphere around was more like um i don't know how to describe it but it has a certain uh i think it's called uh stellated dodecahedron something like this which is not you know something easy to to share like that but it had a specific structure actually um that was around me and then around all the other um dimensions that i exist in and uh, and that also was transmitted so it was like yeah it was it was amazing so i'm really happy and I, I will be doing this not only in the morning or the evening but i will be doing this constantly and i felt that if i do this constantly then it will also protect me not in the sense of that i need protection or anything but it will become stronger and stronger and so in july i will go to holland and i will hug my mother she has she's got the job but i don't care i will hug her so i was like okay this is going to help me <laughs> to actually and my sisters and my brother everybody got the job the job so 
this is going to help me to actually like really go through any dimension and any manifestation and just really stay in my heart with a diamond light. So thank you so much, everyone, no? Alataya, Roman, everyone, Vada, everyone that was here, everyone, the recording, because when we do this and I hope this will, you know, the ball will start rolling and we can all do this much more often and share, 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 uh, then it will become uh, huge. So, but I also saw one more thing, sorry. I also saw that even the fact that we just did this, it is in place. Like I felt like a part of me was anchoring that field. Like it was, and it's already anchored three hours ago, just like Alataya said, but somehow something just anchored it into Egypt. Like, bam, this is anchored like around the pyramid, something like this field is anchored. We can all tap into it forever and ever, and it's done. So even if only one of us would keep on doing this, this person will keep on generating that energy for this to, to be tapped into. So that was really uh, amazing. Yeah, so Alataya is saying, keep on doing it. it, will become easier and visible. I agree, like completely. So anybody else that wishes to share, please do so, because this is a really important part of what we are doing is sharing and to make your voice be heard and your experience as well. Yeah. Can I say so? uh, Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want just to confirm that uh, when my mother take the, the second uh, thing, I couldn't really stand this day. So, you know, I, I, I can confirm this. And the visualization was just like a tunnel and just boom, very, very easy. So I will keep doing this. And thank you so much because I really feel now that I have empowered me to, yeah, not only for myself, but for everybody around because this is a massive, huge thing. And yeah, I, I'm happy to feel active. Thank you so much. Monica, you wanted to say something? Well, actually, um, yes. <laughs> I've been uh, seeing these uh, um, interesting figures, geometric, from since uh, a while. And uh, what I, I think I, we, so we, I misunderstood what you were saying, because actually, maybe I wanted to see what I, I saw. And I saw these realms in the inside, just from the inside of the in, inner inner worlds, I mean, in, in the infinite small ones. And right now that we did this, uh, it was maybe more, uh, it was more clear for me. And the sense that when we were in the, um, in the tube and then aligning all these things, and it was like, you said, like it's spread out everywhere, but in the inside and the outside. And it was like really in the, uh, in the, whole universe in the macro universe and the micro universe too it, it was like like something like <laughs> i don't know how to explain it because it's always very difficult to see what you see in figures but it was like pulling it on the inside and outside at the same time as something like we do when we are in the heart and then it goes you have to go into the infinite part of your heart and then it goes in and, and then you go everything it was like sort of so uh, I, it's, it confirms what I saw yesterday, and, uh, but it was incomplete. So thank you, Ataya, because now I understand what I saw. <laughs> so I wanted to share that. Um, I think we are in alignment because when I see your post and all that, I see that uh, I don't post very often, but I am aligned with this. We are aligned with the same purpose. And I love to see this, that we are in the same heart alignment. So thank you, everybody. I had the funniest uh, vision as you were speaking, Monica, this idea of waves, right? That's the whole, like I, the physical sensation I had was of waves, just ripple, ripple, ripple. But anybody ever have a waterbed and you get on the waterbed 
and you start it rocking and suddenly you're just whoosh you know you can throw someone off and it's almost like throwing that fear throwing it off just like pushing it away it was just a just a silly little thing that popped into my head but oh my goodness the um just a complete release you know i don't feel fear really but i think i sense other people's heaviness and weight and just a complete release. I just dissolved into absolute tears during this, you know, and I just feel so refreshed now, um, knowing that collectively beyond myself, all of us, we are one in this effort and that is affecting the people I love and it's affecting the people you love. And, uh, it's not just me sending that out to the people I love. It's all of you. And I'm doing it for your loved ones as well. So thank you. And thank you, Alatea, for, for leading this. Amazing. I just wanted to share just the image that I saw so that you can see it. Uh, if you've done my workshops, you know it. But uh, this is the image I saw. Amazing, huh? Like I, for me, it's amazing because I've been working with this image for 10 years and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, now it's get a real function here. <laughs> it already had, of course, but now extra functions. Yeah, amazing. Okay, just wanted to share that. Anybody else wishes to share? Ecosaedra. Yeah, that's, I think it's still- I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah. Stelated dodecahedron, something like that. Who cares? It's a beautiful shape, yeah. Anybody else before we close down? Yeah, I just wanted to, tell, to say that um, before I was doing, when I was going out, I was doing my own uh, visualization for my system with white light. So it's very, it's very nice to have something not just for myself, but to be useful to others. And uh, uh, I was, I was, I was thinking when uh, during the exercise, I was thinking. So now we are the one who are shedding <laughs> in a new way. We are starting a new breed of shedding, bianti, <laughs> bianti shedding. Very nice. <laughs> okay, thank you for the work. Sure. Um... It's a bit like a, a circle, like this is this one is taking that it's first the COVID and then the jab and then the shedding and then the anti-shedding and then <laughs> <it's> like, okay, <laughs> where is this going? Yeah. So golden light, golden light, golden light. Is there anything, uh, Alataya, you wish to share as a finishing touch of this whole experience? Anything that's coming through or we are good? Are we complete? Uh, I think it's it's just very important to remember not to get caught into into worry and fear because I'm seeing that this is a subject that is absolutely invading everywhere. Like everyone's talking about it, everyone's concerned about it. There are many different versions of what's going on, and and some of them are very scary. I have to admit that some of them are are saying, okay, you know, you, they, they're really trying to to to. Or they're trying, or they're just talking from their their understanding of it or their version of it. So I think it's very important not to get caught in all these different um, fear-based uh, uh, versions, even if they're holding some degree of truth. To always be into into that into that golden light and into that into our center, because when we are into that vibration, we are affecting others in a way that there, there's no other, other way that is as strong as that. This is pure source energy that we are. So when we use that consciously and, and willingly and, and we become that, like literally like if we were, because before at the few years ago when I was looking earth from, from above, like from far out, I would see little flames like this representing human beings, little flames. Now there are pillars of light seen from way out there, not just little flames, that literally pillars of light. So the more we reinforce that light, the more we become active pillars, the 
the more we become like a grid of this activating energy that holds the whole. And, 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 and not to think, yeah, but I'm not, I, you know, my me, little me, I'm not going to do that difference. Yes, you are. Mm. Yes, you are. So really remember, you are so powerful yeah. that when, once we realize how powerful we are, it's a bit overwhelming. It's like, oh, oh now what do I do with that? You know? like, <laughs> but we are. So really remember how powerful you are and, and holding that light and holding that, that core sense in you Wow, you can undo anything. You can heal yourself. You can retransform anything that is told to you. you you've got this, you, you're doomed. No? Okay, thank you for the information. I'm going to reverse it. No, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's like, um, I, I, th I think it's a little bit ironic that the world has to come to such a state uh until actually the light workers that we are like the light exactly those columns of light are actually saying and that's enough and then they they light up and they make Poof! and i'm like okay how, how much pressure do these diamonds need to start shining because it's really like so many are still hiding and you know going into the, the even them into the brainwash until something somewhere comes to some sort of completion and they're like that's it, I'm taking no more, you know, but, but the world has to come to a very, you know, um, serious state, I have to say, before a lot of us are waking up. But then I also feel there's only one, we only need one of us, one of us to really align, like all of it, like the heart, the brain, the third eye, like align, and this person can heal everything, everyone, including the planet. And people will be like, what just happened? You know, and it's just one of us that got into full alignment. So I'm like, okay, okay, we need a lot, but we also just need one of us to, to do it. So yeah, it's a good, it's it's positive. It's all, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process anyway, you know, it's like a, we, we gradually, as we, we hold more uh, curtain of light, we, we shed uh, uh, distortion and we shed density, then we hold more and then we, we deal with other layers. So it's, it's a process. And uh, yeah, as human beings, we, we often need to be pushed to the limits to start uh, reacting and to start saying, okay, this is it. So yeah. um, let's just take the experience, not as a, a, a drama and say, oh, we're doomed and all that, but say, okay, okay, I've been pushed enough. You know, yeah. stop poking and stop yeah. pushing. And I've had it, and and I'm entering this uh, this beam of light, and I just want to hold it and hold it stronger and stronger and stronger. And the incredible thing is that when we when we become that, the more we become that, because uh, it, it's it's uh, it's it's quite amazing how the process goes. But the more we become that, the more we're instant co-creators of whatever we need or want for or uh, is an alignment and it's it's a magical um, unraveling it's very magical yeah. yay yes <laughs> on this magical note um yeah. <laughs> we're going to close it and um yeah i will i will put the recording immediately on uh, my youtube actually i think i will just do it publicly because the more people we reach the better and uh I will put uh, some some links under it from the New Earth Now and maybe Alataya and Hira, you know, maybe some links and and that's it. I think we we'll just go out and see what right. happens. Yeah, let's just spread it out. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure, like a uh, Ibiza reunion uh, core <laughs> with everyone. New Earth Now, amazing. Thank you so much. Sending so much love. Hi, everyone. Okay, I will unmute everyone. Let me see how we can do that. There you go. You can all unmute if you want. Bye. Thank you too. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.